What's going on guys? So back early April, I bought myself a Meepo 1.5. Um, shortly after, about a month later, uh, Kieran at Meepo released the Meepo 2.0. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, upgrade my current board. I was very happy with the 1.5. However, the new ESC on the version two up the um, top speed to 25 miles per hour from 22 miles per hour uh, and improved the interface between the old ESC and the remote to the new one. So I went ahead and bought the new ESC and the new remote and I made the change and this quick video is going to show you how to swap the old ESC to the new one. Uh Alright, so in theory this should be pretty easy as um, the, e, the new ESC, the version 2, already kind of comes in. What's nice about it is it already comes in um, the enclosure all attached, all the um, connectors are in place. So technically, it shouldn't be too difficult to take this apart and just change it. Um, basically, what I did first just was take the screws out. And there's about four screws and nuts and bolts um, to take out to be able to remove the original ESC on the Meepo 1.5. And let me just flip it over. And as you can see, the new one, the new ESC is much smaller. And this is what should get us the better controller interface and a higher top speed. So I'm going to try to put it together and see how this works out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be unplugging this is the cord for the battery so that should basically directly plug into the battery port here simple enough and then from there all we really would have to do is then plug in um, each hub motor into each one of these uh, ports here. Um, we just have to undo the tape on the old one. There's a lot of tape on this. So this is the electrical tape that was wound around these wires, I guess, just to hold it together. And as you can see, man, it is hot in here. So as you can see, these plugs go right into here and all to the same colors. So this one's gonna go into this port and these are gonna go into that port. simple enough and then same thing with the other one so we unplug this one from here just be careful not to pull the wires too hard and then we undo the tape on this one as well to then be able to plug in the other side. And boom, we have the old ESC out. And now we're ready to plug the new ESC in. So, this one is gonna go this way. So then basically all we got to do is plug this prong right into here. Boom. And then 
the males each to their color green to green blue to blue and yellow to yellow just like that and then same thing with the other one making sure that everything lines up correctly put in the plug and then again each color to its color so yellow to yellow green to green and blue to blue and we're finally plugged in so now this is the new remote um, as you can see so now I'm powering it on so full charged and then the remote I just powered on and it's blinking so it's paired up right away as you can see all the connections are there and basically to test it you know I just kind of get it going Looks like it works pretty good. If I hit the reverse button, seems to go pretty good. So I think we're good to go. So as you can see, the new remote has different modes, um, reverse button, power button here. If I click the power button, it'll show you what mode it's on. If I click it twice, it'll change and it'll scroll through the different modes. So this is the beginner mode, the eco mode, the pro mode, and the expert mode. It seems to be pretty easy to use and holding it shuts it right off so as you can see making the changes on the board from the old ESC to the new ESC is really pretty simple it's just a matter of uh, taking off the enclosure swapping out the ESC unplugging and plugging replugging back in uh, putting the screws back on and you're good to go pair up the new remote and then you're ready to go and hit the uh, streets with the new board um, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and get the notifications. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, when you plug in the motors into the new ESC, make sure that you're putting in the right, the correct side on the right plug, because if you don't, the first time I did it, uh, the uh, motors were going in reverse. So make sure that you put it in the right spot so that when you hit the throttle, it'll go in the right direction. Uh, check it before you write it. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, you know, make some comments, let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'll try to put up some new stuff together um, next time. Um, I plan on doing a uh, ride video to show you guys what the new performance on the board is. Thanks. Bye.